Hey guys, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the Golf Club 2. Today we are going to be playing and reviewing the Walker course by William Hotel. This is an RCR, guys, based in South Carolina. I do recall playing this course originally on the Golf Club and I have very fond memories of that course and it has been ported over. So it is a par 72, fairways are firm, greens are firm and green speed is medium fast. We do have four tee options. We are going to be playing off the blue tees, which are 6,941 yards. And as always, guys, for the camera flyby purposes, pin selection number one. This course obviously caught my attention originally in the golf club because um, my surname is Walker. And uh, i done a bit of delving into it and did find out that it is an RCR, guys. So hole one is a par five, playing 487 yards, stroke index 15. My headset sounds a bit fuzzy there, guys. Hope that's not being picked up on the the live feed. Beautiful looking open and hole this, by the way, guys. Tough pin location there up on the left-hand side of the green. Really, really nice looking open and hole. Wow, very mild wind conditions. It's certainly not zero. It's probably one or two mile per hour winds, but it's a great open and strike. The course is referred to uh, as short as a Walker course. It should be the John E. Walker Senior Golf Course. It's an 18-hole mm. golf course on the campus of Clemson U of University in South Carolina. The course is the home of the Clemson Tigers men and women's golf teams. Its signature 70th green and bunkers echo the university's Tiger Paw logo, so we will have to look out for that one, guys. So I am left 188 yards into this green. We did find the light rough. I don't think that's going to make it up there, guys. No, so are we going to be back in a bunker? No, we do manage to hang up there. And once again, we're in the light, heavy rough this time. So we went from rough to rough. Let's see if we can get this chip shot close. That should run out. Is it going to sit down? Oh, no, it's not going to sit down. So I am going to have a testing birdie putt here. It's probably going to be about 15 to 16 feet, to be fair. I'm just concerned about the crackling that I'm receiving on my headset, guys. This is a, a brand new headset. It should have no reason for making static noises. Is that going to turn back? Oh, it does. And that is a fantastic putt there, guys, to salvage the birdie after finding the, the rough from the tee and the rescue shot. So let's move on to hole number two, which is a par four. 390 yards and is stroke index one, which is indicating that it is the hardest hole on the course, according to this stroke index here. But wow, another really nice looking hole, this one, guys. And it is bringing back good, fond memories of playing this on the original game, the golf club. And hopefully I'm going to be able to play this on the golf club 2019 as well. If it fares as well as what it did on the golf club. So that is a good strike there, guys. Good so far. Happy with that one. Just trying to use the whole of the fairway here. Whole of the fairway. It looks like we've managed to succeed with that. So I'm now left with an 83-yard shot. Lob wedge is going to be bang on for this. See if we can get this dialed in. The slope is going to take us to the right. The green is breaking back towards the pin. And this wind should correct this slight slope here. Well, it's going to have to bite. Oh, this is all over. And that is a fantastic approach shot. We should spin back a bit. Well, which it does. That ended up just fine. So we're probably looking at tucking this little four foot putt in for birdie which we do guys and that means back to back birdie so we are off to a good start and we do get to two under par so let's move on to hole number three which is a shortish par four playing 420 yards stroke index nine i'm really impressed with the the light in here it's like a a dull grayish kind of day and uh, it's quite unique, this. Oh, wow, look at this large rock behind this green with the, the lovely colour flowers on it. 
really, really nice. The wind is really, really mild today. Uh, my last three or four rounds have been in really strong winds. So it's quite refreshing to go out here and play in mild wind conditions and let the clubs do what they should do. Once again, good clean strike. Looks like you'll be in the short and we're just going to find the left-hand side centre of this fairway. It does kick back. <coughs> but I do hope everyone is going to enjoy their, their Sunday, guys. Hopefully... You guys watching this are chilling out, a nice cup of coffee or cup of tea, sitting back and watching myself try and cut this course up. And it is a beautiful course, really enjoyed the first two holes. Let's see if this gap wedge is going to be dialed in once again. It's tracking well, maybe just going to be left of the pin. Should spin back, didn't spin at all, that one didn't really bite. A really firm bounce there, so we're probably, I was going to say 10 feet, but it is a 12 foot putt to continue the birdie run. This one is going to turn to the left. Turn. Oh, and we do manage to, to sneak that in on the edge, and it does drop for three consecutive birdies, guys. Great start to the round, and we are three under. So hole four is a long par three, playing 224 yards, stroke index five. But yeah, I just want to take this opportunity, guys, to um, thank everyone who is continuing to support the channel. Long may it continue. Um, it is really, really appreciated, guys. I do always reply to every single comment I receive. And uh, hopefully we can continue the growth in the channel into the Golf Club 2019 which I'm really looking forward to now. It can't come quick enough. So the four hybrid. Just looking for this to, to kick on up towards the flag. This could be good. Turn, turn, sit down. And that is a fantastic approach shot there, guys. Really, really happy with that approach shot there. And that should be a little tap in for the birdie. And we do continue with the birdie train and we are four under par through four holes so great start and I'm really enjoying this course guys it reminds me completely of the original course that I found on the golf club from William Hotel and this seems to be a graphically improved version of that so hole five is a short par five playing 504 yards stroke index 17 Really uh, quite a unique lighting on this course. Most courses are, are sunny and bright and have sun bouncing off all of them. So it's quite a nice change this to be fair. It's another good clean strike right down the centre off the fairway. But yeah, this course is a semi-private course, guys. It was established in 1995. And like I say, let's watch out for its signature 17th green and bunkers, which echo the university's Tiger Paw logo. Whether or not our designer, William Hotel, has put that in the game, I'm not sure. So 193 yards, 6 iron should be enough here, guys, with the firm greens. Really hitting the ball clean today. So far. Oh, this could be all over it. This should be all over this, guys. Sit down. Sit down. Wow. Wow, that ball has travelled 202 yards. Wow. Crazy. So, 29 foot putt, 5 inches up. The greens are medium fast, guys. As you can see, they are only 156s. So, let's see if we can lag this eagle putt. Up there, guys, or go one better and get it to drop. It is going to turn to the left from the right. Have we put enough pace in the ball? Yeah, it's not a bad putt, to be fair. It's going to leave us with a simple two-foot tapping for the birdie, which we convert, and we do manage to keep this birdie train going, and we are five under par, guys, through five holes. Great start to the round. So, hole number six is a par four, playing 415 yards, stroke index 13. 
but really really impressed with this course so far guys once again it does look like we have um, another fantastic design course for us to play so please get out there and play this guys I am only on hole 6 and I can assure you that uh, I am thoroughly enjoying this so far as always guys I do try my best to source the best courses for you guys along with you subscribers help this is what's great about this channel guys we do have a community feel to it everyone is so helpful so just try it take on as much as this much of this heavy rough or light rough whatever it is up here we do manage to get over that and that should probably just be a pit shot we've left ourselves there guys really good drive there really aggressive off the tee box there and it has paid off 67 yards just want to land a short of the pin the gap wedge And that should kick on and check up, which is done, guys. And it's probably going to be leaving me a six foot putt for birdie. For Seven foot putt. Nothing in this at all. Might break slightly to the right. Sweet. It did. And it did drop into the center of the cup. So, really cutting this course up so far, guys. We are six under through six. Hole 7 is another short par 4, playing 397 yards, stroke index 7. But you can clearly tell William Hotel has um, <laughs> rhymed that, has put a lot of time and effort into this course. I'm not sure if he's had to, to retouch, rework things, I'm sure he'll let us know if he's watching this in the video, or if it's just been a straightforward pour over from the golf club i think it's been retouched up i think it's been slightly improved let's see how far we can get his drive with a seven mile per hour one behind us this, one's looking good. this should find the center of the fairway it has done once again guys i think we're gonna have a relatively short shot in here it could be a pitch it might be the 85 yard shot in yeah, so it's going to be the lob wedge. Just touching that up a tiny bit, guys, because we are on a downhill slope. I just want to get this past that slope that you see. It was taking the ball away from the hole and get it bouncing up there and sitting down. This one's a beauty. Should bounce. It's came up a bit short. No. So we didn't manage to achieve what I wanted to do. Really surprised that I came up so short there, guys. I mean, we had a six, seven mile per hour wind pushing our ball there. Wow. So I am now left with a monster putt here for birdie. 35 feet, one foot up. It is breaking to the left from the right hand side. So we are aiming right of the flag here. It's just about getting this up the, up the slope. Turn. Oh, and that needs to stop. So we could be looking at a drop shot here, guys, because I think I'm about 10 feet past. Yeah, 10 foot past the cup. And I tell you what, don't want to go too far past if I miss this, because this will go down the slope again. That's a great par save there, though, guys. Really disappointed with my approach shot, though. And that is the first par of the round, so we can't really complain. And we are going to remain six under par. So, hole number 8 is a par 3, play 215 yards, stroke index 11. I think we can... Easily hit the hybrid here, guys. Just looking to get this on to the putting surface. It is, is really going to turn to the right, as you've seen. The green does break to the right. Yeah. Breaks to the right the whole way. So I'm just hoping that this wind's going to move me to the left. And when we do land on the green, 
that is going to turn up to the right. Oh, why? This could come up really shortly. We're going to hit the green, but it's not going to be as close as I would have liked. I would have liked that ball to land about another five, six yards further. I think that slow um, backswing did really affect it. So it's a long putt once again for Birdie. 30 30 footer turning to the right. Oh, get in. Oh, we just miss out on the left edge. And we're going to have a, a four foot putt for the part. But to my knowledge, guys, this uh, the greens are um, Zoysia greens. Um, I don't know if that, that means much to people, but... From my research, right. the greens are Zoysia. So, hole number nine is a par four, playing 476 yards, and it is stroke index three. But wow, what a beautiful course this is. Outstanding. Wow, really, really impressed with this. So yeah, Zoysia, guys, is just a, a type of grass. It is the latest innovation for uh, golf courses. It's extremely fine textured grass. So uh, the Walker course is keeping up with technology, guys. So just hitting the three wood down here, guys, to, to set ourselves up for a longer approach shot. There's no way with the current wind conditions we could have made it over the, the burn or the creek there. So and probably, I was going to say a 5 iron. It does look like it's going to be the 6 iron. No. Just lofting this up a touch, guys. And we are going to rely on this wind. That's the only problem with this game is the wind, as most people know, is really inconsistent in this game. And I'm hoping that that is something on the Golf Club 2019 that they do correct. So the green really breaks to the right. There should be a bank here that we should kick forward. And it is... Ugh, we've just came out of the wrong side of that. It's going to give us a birdie opportunity, though. Probably about 13 foot. Just landed slightly more to the right than I wanted to. But we do... It does look like we've got a fairly straightforward putt here, guys. It's all about reading this one. It is breaking both ways. Oh, and I read that really, really well there, guys. And it does get us back on the birdie trail. And after nine, guys, we are seven under. Seven birdies, two pars. Really can't complain with that. Let's move on to the, the back nine. And we are going to start off with hole number 10, obviously, which is a par four plane, 413 yards, stroke index 16. Massive open fairway here. Really, really big open fairway. You are getting beautiful views along this this course with a lake and the the forestry work. It is really really nice looking course, guys. It's looking good. Once again, it's another good tee shot, guys. And we are over the 300 yard mark, 309 yards. We've drilled that down the fairway. If I do recall, I'm sure that Tim Wilson, UK, who is a subscriber and a, a big friend of the channel, uh, reviewed this course on this one's looking good. The, the golf club. I could be wrong. Oh, that's a great shot. We are absolutely dialed in there, guys. Absolutely dialed in. 
But I am sure that Tim reviewed this course on the golf club. Okay, it's time to send this ball on its way. So, hole number 11 is a par 4, playing 436 yards, stroke index 6. Pin position is quite tricky over there on the left hand side. Once again, flawless tee shot. Whether or not Tim um, reviewed William Hotel's version, but I do recall Tim Wilson UK doing a review in this course right, on the golf ish. club. So 148 yards, guys. Green is slightly above us. A iron. We're really going to attack this. Looking good. Oh, that's went more to the left than I anticipate. The yardage was really, really good though. Okay, good approach. We're on the green now. Alright, 13 footer here. Let's see if we can get this turning into the cup. For the birdie. Oh, why wow, it turned back? It actually turned back on itself there. It did look good until the last foot or so. And it's just going to be another par there, guys. And as John says, that will keep us at 8 under par. So, hole number 12 is a par 3, playing 161 yards, stroke index 12. Why, tough green here, very, very tough green in pin location. Let's see what we can come up with here. 147 yards. Into the wind, uphill. So I'm just going to loft up this A-iron here, guys. We are going to rely on this slight wind just to give us a bit of hold. Once again, um, wow, how on earth is that, that dropped at 138 yards with a 4 mile per hour crosswind and I loft that up minimally, wow, wow, I am, I'm actually taken aback with that guys, so we are left with a 46 foot putt, we are 2 feet up, as you can see, the slope is very, very severe. I am going to putt this, guys. In real life, I do normally chip these kind of shots from this distance, but... And I've left that short, and I should have chipped it. So I've probably still got about 12, 13 feet to the pin. All right, 13 feet. Yeah, 13 feet, and still 4 inches up. So that slope was really, really severe. And this is just for the par save, this. I hate dropping shots in this game, especially on par 3s and par 5s. Can we read this and get a nice par save here? Get in. Ah, we read the green fantastically. And we do manage to, to drain that for the par save. And we are going to remain 8 under par. So, hole number 13 is a par 4, stroke index 8, playing 383 yards. But yeah, look out for some exciting news on the channel, guys, regarding the Golf Club 2019. And also some exciting news coming up with myself, Enforcer3891 and Tim Wilson UK. We do have a, a special announcement to make and hopefully we can all release a video 
Nino Ruff at the same time to announce that uh, exciting information and hopefully you guys are going to be really excited about it. So 383 yards par 4, stroke index 8. Just wanting this slope to move my ball to the left hand side here and give us a really good position to attack this pin from the left hand side. We should be straight in line with the pin here from this angle. Yet yeah, we are we are gonna be a slight slope, it's gonna move us to our left. Oh 70 let's say it's playing 73 yards to the pin uphill. It's tough, tough pitch. I'm just going to deal off this one and rely on it bouncing on the, the top of this this mound here and kicking onto the green and hopefully biting. Sit down. Oh, that was always going to be the problem with that one there, guys, was getting it to sit down. Why? And it went really left there anyway off the slope and we are 20 feet away from the pin really tough pin location that let's see if we can drop this to get back on the birdie trail turn oh it just didn't turn decent weight in it probably gonna have a five foot putt for par all right a little six foot putt here john's saying it's a six foot but it says it's five come on john get your facts right bud you're watching this mate these commentators, eh? So we are not firing on all cinders in the cylinders in this uh, back nine. We are finding the back nine slightly trickier than the uh, the front nine, where we absolutely cut it up. So hole 14 is a par five, playing 536 yards, stroke index 14. So this is a shorter par five, guys. We should be looking to be able to attack this pin in two here. Well placed bunker there on the left hand side. With that pin location, that bunker certainly in play. So I'm hoping we can use the the whole of the fairway here. Let's see. So just hitting the three wood guys, because that fairway is below us. I don't think you can hit driver here, we'll soon find out. This is a beauty. Yeah, we've played that well because it's going to kick down the slope. Yeah, with the wind conditions I had, you'd be silly to, to, to attempt to hit driver there. So this should now be a. Okay, well, I was going to say six wood. Yards out. Yeah, I'm confident I can play the six wood here, guys, and get this kicking onto the green. With that slope in the mind there, it might be a lottery of what way we kick. It does look like we might kick left, but the green does slope to the right, so we might get a bit of a lucky break here. Like I say, this is all about the kick. It kicked the way I expected it to, guys, but with a lot more ferocity. It came in a lot more hotter. We, I expected that heavy rough to take a lot of the momentum out of the ball. It didn't, so we failed to, to find the green. But we are going to have a chip shot for the eagle. 14 yards. Let's see if we can get this one close. It's got a chance. It's got a Oh, wow. Sweet. That just stopped stone dead, and that was right on track for, for dropping for the eagle. So we're going to have a simple tap in for the birdie, guys. Which we managed to convert, and we are going to move on to nine under par. It's only our second birdie of the back nine. Solid golf on the back nine, though. Played solid golf today. A lot happier with my swing and what it has been in previous rounds. So hole 15 is a short par four, playing 368 yards, stroke index 18, which is making it the easiest hole on the course according to this stroke index here. Pin position is over on the left hand side of the green. So let's see if we can set ourselves up for prime positioning for our approach shot. Looks like 
Looks like there's a little valley there, guys. But I'm just going to try and get this ball sloping off here. Try to get right in line with a pin here. Really hit that well. Right, and that should kick far. off this bank here and go left. Yeah, we've played that well. Please stop. Please stop. And it has managed to stop. We had to use the bank there, guys. Otherwise, I reckon we would have run in at least to the light rough. And we've set ourselves up perfectly for the pitch shot. Let's see if we can execute this pitch shot better. Come on, sit down. Yeah, played that really well. We'd have liked a little bit more run out in that. But we are going to have a six foot putt for the birdie. This one's breaking to the left. Oh, Lee, I have been missing a lot of putts like that recently, guys. Wow. And I've put that about seven, eight feet past. Okay, let's see what you can do with this so, a similar putt coming back for the par. Which we managed to convert, but really disappointed with that putt there. And keep you at I have been putting like that quite often lately, guys. It wasn't an easy putt, but it is a putt I would do. be liking for a player of my standard to be dropping more regular. So, hole 16 is a par 5, playing 535 yards, stroke index 2. It's another relatively short par 5. The lake is on our left-hand side there. Really beautiful view of the lake. Nice water feature just behind the green there. Or is that a boat? Oh, it's a boat. Why I need to get my eyes tested. It is a boat. In all fairness, I am sitting about 15 feet away from the the, the TV, guys. So, slightly elevated the uh, tee box. Should be driving plus 300 yards here. When he's firm. Greens, uh, fairways. So, probably going to be a six wood once again and this looks like into this green. To the pin. It is down 12 feet, so I'm actually going to switch to the four hybrid here and rely once again. See how my luck is, guys, because I know my six wood, it will go through the green. It doesn't really sit down well on greens that. Whereas the four hybrid does, but I'm going to rely on a nice bounce here. Hoping this bounces forward. Ah, it's just going to trickle off to the left hand side. But we did try to uh, make a shot there, guys. Very creative shot. But we do have a nice seven yard chip shot for the Eagle. Let's see if we can get this one close. Get in, get in. Oh, it just trickles past the left-hand side. It is going to leave us with an easy right, tapping putt for birdie, though. Which we convert, and we do get to 10 under par for the round, guys. So, let's move on to this hole number 17, which is classed as a signature hole. And yeah, I think, yeah, you can see there what combination the green and the bunkers. It is like a paw print there, guys, with that green. So that is really cool that the the designer has took the time to uh, add that. And that is really, really cool, guys. And it is a 192-yard par 3. Just had a controller disconnection there. But yeah, look at that. Really, really nice there, guys, that, that feature. Really, really impressed with that. Clearly see the paw print there. So, six iron. Let's see if we can get this dialed in. Really good strike, really straight strike. Beauty. This could be good if it holds. Sit down, sit down. Really good attempt there, guys. I would have liked that more nice. to the left of the, the flag, obviously. But we are going to be left with a nine foot putt for the birdie. This would move us to 11 under par. Not much in this one at all. 
and we do manage to convert that for the birdie and get to 11 under par guys so let's move on to the final hole of this fantastic course guys by William Hotel it is obviously going to be the 18th which is a par 4 playing 387 yards stroke index 10 and what a beautiful final hole it is guys we are playing right over the lake here wow Wow, one of the best looking final holes I have played in a long time. Nice water feature there on the right. This looks like it could be actually quite a challenging hole to play. It looks like it's playing short. But, a lot of hazards here. But yeah, really impressed with the green and the bunkers on the 17th combining to make it look like a, a paw print. Oh, look at that aerial view, guys. Absolutely outstanding. Please get out here and play this course, guys. As always, feel free to add my ghost ball and let me know how you got on in the comment section. But this course will certainly um, not let you down. It is an enjoyable round. I have really enjoyed my round here, as I do the majority of my games, guys. My rounds, I really enjoy it out here on this game. Say what you like about this game, guys. It has been my best game. Best golfing game ever for me. And I'm hoping the Golf Club 2019 is going to continue that and pick up where this game left off. So, we managed to get our pitch shot nine feet from the pin. This one's going to turn quite aggressively to the right. Oh, are we going to sneak it in? And we do. So a decent putt there, guys. What putt makes up for the, the poor six-foot birdie we missed. Guys, round of 60, 12 under par. Fantastic course from William Hotel, the Walker course. Please go and check it out. That is definitely a five-star and a favourite for me, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you are new to the channel, hit subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace out and love you all. Bye.